Hi everyone, this is Mehmoo Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on Java programming tutorial series and in this video I will discuss about the switch statement ok so with the name itself you might guess that switch statement will be used for switching between one block of code to another block of code ok suppose you are having some blocks of code where you are performing some different functionalities suppose you want to perform four tasks like you want to add few numbers you want to subtract few numbers you want to multiply numbers and you want to divide some numbers okay and these are four functionalities and each and every functionalities you have grouped into one block okay and whenever requires you want to execute the block of addition okay and the addition is done you want to again execute the other block which is division or it might be subtraction or multiplication okay so you can switch between these four blocks okay so now you have suppose you have executed the first block which is addition and immediately immediately after that you can switch to some other block for example subtraction once you done the subtraction of two numbers then you can again switch to multiplication okay so like this you can switch between the one block of code to another block of code okay so we you can develop that kind of uh, functionality using switch statement okay now let us uh, see uh, see an example where we can uh, calculate addition subtraction multiplication and division using switch statement okay and in addition we will use do while also okay so now let's right click on this java programs folder and then click on new file and then java java class okay and then switch statement okay switch statement now let's hit enter Okay, now I have created my file and now let's come here okay and then create a okay let's first import our package our input output package import java dot dot io dot star okay, okay and then public static void main okay and then string works okay and then we'll create a try block and then catch Exception E okay and then system dot out dot int ln error okay and now we need to create few variables to hold the values for our integer numbers for making addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. A, for storing the value of first number and B is for storing the value of second number and CH for user choice okay so here I will ask the user to enter on a value for either yes or no okay so if the user rep response will be yes then I will be keep on displaying the options of addition subtraction multiplication and division um, okay for calculating addition multi subtraction multiplication and division okay, so now let's float c okay so inside this c variable i'll be calculating the uh, total okay total of two numbers and then i will use a do while loop do while loop while ch okay so which is the choice 
while our choice is not equals to 4 okay so we will be having 4 options uh, it's ch okay save it Okay, now let's create a data input stream object. Okay, dis equals to new data input stream system dot in. Okay. And now we'll create stump dot out print ln. Okay, now the first option will be addition. Okay, similarly I will just copy. Okay, I will copy and I will paste four times because I want to calculate addition subtraction multiplication and division of two numbers ok so next I will store the value numerical value which user is going to enter integer dot parse int and then dis dot read line ok and then I will switch ok switch between our choice ok so here in this ch variable I'll be, this ch variable will be holding the value of uh, value of user choices either it will be 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 ok so ok so this ch variable will be uh, holding the value of either 1 2 3 or 4 okay, and then case 1 ok so here it will take uh, it will the syntax of switch is switch and then case okay in the first case I will ask the user to enter the first number enter first number okay and then I will store the that first number inside inside variable a okay and then I will ask the user to enter the second number okay and then I'll store the value of that second number into variable b okay now I will calculate the sum okay and I'll store that sum into variable c okay and then I will paste okay, I will copy I will paste it here and then here I will display the addition okay, here C okay. okay then then last is break okay so our case one is completed okay so in case one we have uh, calculated the addition okay and now in case 2 we will calculate subtraction okay I'll just copy this entire code and I will paste it here okay, and I will now we just need to change the sign and change it to subtraction okay 
and now we need to go for our case 3 okay now this one is our case 3 in case 3 we will be multiplying two numbers multiplication okay and then in case 4 which is the last case here we will divide two numbers okay here we will divide these two numbers and change it to division okay so now we have completed our four cases and let's get it save it okay so we will be keep on displaying these four options to the users okay now first time when these four options will be displayed to the user then user will be entering the choice for these options okay so for for example user will enter the value of one then based on the input entered by the user which is one that one gets stored inside this variable ch and now that one will come inside this switch statement okay so now this one and inside this case one will get match match okay uh, when both of these numbers gets matched out then this block will get executed okay so now let's first save it and then okay and then come here okay let's build it okay now it's displaying build successful and now let's right click and then click on run file okay so now you can see it's displaying me four options option one addition option two subtraction option three multiplication option four division okay so now i need to enter my option suppose i want to make the addition of two numbers okay so let's say i enter value of one now it's asking me to enter two values let's say two and then four okay and when i press enter okay it's returning me the addition of these two numbers which is six okay so it's displaying the result in decimal because uh, i have taken float as the data type for holding the result for each of these calculations okay so now you can see immediately after returning the output of addition six it has again it's uh, showing me some different uh, some all all these options okay so now let me enter two because i want to make the subtraction of two numbers okay so now let's uh, enter six and then second number two okay now you can see the result it's displaying subtraction is four okay so now it has entered into case two block okay because the value that i had entered here was two okay choice value was two that's why here that uh, the, the control will come inside case two now if i enter three okay then again it will ask me to enter a few numbers two and four now it will calculate the multiplication okay so now i have entered the choice or the option number three that means the ch value ch variable now holding the value of three okay now this three will pass into this switch statement and it will check the value three belongs to which case okay so now the value three which is entered by the user is belongs to case three so now it will come into case three and execute the block which is written inside the case three and here multiplication is the calculation so it will calculate the multiplication and it will return the output okay so now you can see it has returned the multiplication okay now if i enter four okay and first number four and then second number two and it has returned the division okay so now see uh, then uh, the uh, switch 
gets terminated because uh, here in the do while condition I have given I have, uh, I have to keep on display these four options which is addition subtraction multiplication and division four options uh, until the value of ch will become to four okay so now the moment when I enter four the switch gets uh, terminated okay and we got the output and we come out of the switch statement okay so this is the uh, this is how we can use switch statement whenever we want to uh, move between one block to another block at that time we can use switch statement okay so uh, i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and i will see you guys in my next video where i'll be where i will discuss about continue statement okay and thanks for watching